Hey guys, this is PC Central 102, and in front of me I have a Cam Chancellor jersey from Seattle Seahawks. This is supposed to be a Nike Elite jersey that I bought, but it is fake, and I'm here to tell you why it is fake, because I haven't seen many good guides on on how a jersey is fake or how a Nike Elite jersey is fake, especially Seattle jerseys. But I bought this one not too long ago, and I got it in, and I thought it was authentic. The guy said it is authentic, and, well, it's not. And there's a couple ways to know that it's not. And first off, the NFL logo is crooked. It's not even. That's a clear indicator that that's not, that's not right. Well, this is a rubberized NFL logo. Yeah, they did do a good job on that. But... Was was also another another indicator was the gray stripe. It's supposed to go up to the collar. It's nowhere near that. And plus, it's crooked, and it's crooked on this side too. You can clearly see that and that. And then for the stitching for the numbers, there's only single stitched. It's supposed to be double stitched. That's one thing that got me on that. They did do a good job. With the lettering, like it feels okay, but in reality, it's not what it's supposed to be. Um, for the tag, it's um, what was it that is wrong on here? The stitching is supposed to go all the way across. There's no indication that there was even stitching there. It's just stitched on to the back of the jersey. It's supposed to look different here. It's supposed to be a single line stitch. But there isn't. Um, in a 12th man patch, that's not even a patch. That's just printed on there. That's that's not supposed to be like that. Um, the Nike swoosh on here is embroidered. It's not a stitched on patch. I mean, it looks like a patch, but it's not. Um, yeah, that's not even a patch. And the thing that most people don't tend to look for is on the inside of the jersey. The inside, um, let me, give me a second here. If you see stuff like this on there, you can tell it's fake because it's a, uh, it's like a thermal adhesive patch that they put on the back of the number and they stamp the number on the front and it adheres to the jersey. And, uh, Nike doesn't use that. They use like a special glue called Lextra. And these little patch things shouldn't be there. A like perfect example is like on the back of this 31 for the shoulder. Um, yeah, right there. It's all over that. That stuff. You don't want that stuff. That's that's another indicator that it's fake. Um, also, you should also be looking at the tag at the bottom here. This right here. Everything looked great. They got the gun metal gun metallic look good it shines but if you read here it says engineered to the exact specifications of the national football league it should say engineered by nike to the exact specifications by nike it doesn't say by nike here and people are saying like oh it's because oh, i was looking for washing instructions and well of course fake jerseys are supposed to come with one tag that has washing instructions and what do you know it doesn't have washing instructions whatsoever so that that kind of threw me off um they did a pretty good job with the mesh i think that feels okay um they did fine with the with the top chancellor the name it's stitched on fine everything looks good there they did good with the with the little green collar stripe ending behind the neck that's the elite jerseys uh, look just like that right there. The numbers, yet again, are single-stitched. They did follow the no the normal elite jersey thing, where the back numbers are bigger than the front. And this one did is bigger than the front, but that still didn't exactly make a difference. Um, the material, another test you can do is you can test if this is waterproof or not. It's supposed to be waterproof. Like, I haven't done that test yet, and I doubt it's waterproof. But 
that's another thing that most people have tried and it's turned out not to be waterproof because Nike Elite jerseys are supposed to be like waterproof in certain areas but this one I haven't tested that yet um, the fly wire they did a pretty good job mimicking the fly wire like that looks okay and the Seahawks um, the, that's okay nothing too great still off-centered um, anything else uh, there's there was no security uh, stitching no security uh, anything uh, as I was seeing online there's no security stitching on this there's no red Nike swish there's nothing there's not even a holographic uh, serial number as far as I was looking up um, that's all supposed to be around this area or somewhere near it I still don't know where it would be but it's not there so, yeah, that's that's what a fake jersey looks like. And it looks pretty damn close, if you ask me. But it's it's not. It's not the real thing. And like, I am going to go pick up a real one soon uh, for the full insane price of $300. But, you know, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Because if any of you have an actual team that you like, then you stick with that team. And... You get a member, and well, you really like your team, and you like to show it off. So, yeah, that's it's a real disappointment that this is fake. Like I gotta return it, but oh well, it gives me a chance to get the real one. I just wanted to make sure you guys understand that the differences between a fake jersey and a real jersey. Usually, on fake ones, the numbers tend to bubble a little bit. If they, you know, I can feel a little bit of bubbling there, but this one got it down pretty, pretty well. They didn't do too bad with that. And then there's still the stitching. The stitching still isn't that great. Otherwise, it's the jersey is overall okay, and I still wouldn't want to wear this thing just because knowing it's fake. That I bought a fake one, uh, just happened to be fake, but other people may think differently I still want the real one most people out there want a real jersey rather than one that was made not even probably not even on an American continent or the North American continent probably made elsewhere but you know it is what it is just figured out to let you guys know this is a fake jersey watch out for fake jerseys if you're going to buy a real jersey get it from the store do not buy it online or from eBay or even from Amazon, get it from the Nike store itself in person because that tends to avoid the problem of getting a fake jersey and you having to go through what I have to go through. So, all right, you guys enjoy the rest of your days. And PC Central 102 out. See ya.